For Asia, Africa is the past, the present, and the future. Building a bridge for business between Asia and Africa. Why Asia Africa? Why should we Asia and Africa? For Asia, Africa is the past, the present, and the future. One thing that we should keep in mind is that the main challenge of integration in Asia and Africa is the same. We may be trapped in a shallow integration. The intra-trade among members of the Association of Southeast Asia Nations or ASEAN increased merely from 23% in 2000 to 26% in 2017, an increase of only 3% in 17 years. That if we combine Asia and Africa, we represent 30% of world's GDP, 76% of world's population, 44% of world's exports, 41% of world's import, and 35% of world's FDI. So, we have the potentials to play a key role in global trade while accelerating our own economic development agenda and improving the livelihood of our people. Today, we are in the world where tasks are fragmented around the globe. We need partners to expand our businesses. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me end by emphasizing that the government of Indonesia has put its great efforts to build bridges between Asia and Africa and has taken necessary first steps in that direction. Now, it is time for businesses from both sides to tango, to capitalize the government's initiatives. We cannot afford falling into the new game played by some countries to pursuing trade wars. It won't benefit us at all. Not now, not then. We could grow stronger only if we work together. Let me stop here and we can further enjoy our panelists discussing on how to further bridge business between Asia and Africa. Thank you. Shukran Lakuk.